So, high stock buying in a few other places broke this earlier on. Where is it? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, I think I deleted it. So, um, high stock buying broke this earlier, but a sneaker designer, designer I say in parentheses, in parentheses right, um, called Warren Lotus is being sued by Nike, right, for uh, re releasing his interpretation of the iconic pigeon Dunk SB, um, you know, designed by Staple. Staple design, Jeff Staple, however, you know, you want to say that wanker's name. But yeah, this is the headline from High Snobby. It says Nike is suing over this blatant NYC pigeon dunk ripoff. Nike has issued a lawsuit against Los Angeles based streetwear brand Warren Lotus for ripping off one of its sneaker designs, Los Angeles Daily News reports. According to the court papers that were filed on Wednesday, Nike is accusing Warren Lotus of promoting and selling the shoe that is confusingly similar to the famed NYC pigeon SB dunk designed by Jeff Staple right and that's obviously the shoe i'm sure most people have seen it there's been a trend of these weird sneaker designer people popping up all over the place they're not really designers they just get a mod like i don't know a shoe surgeon's a good example right where you just pick up a jordan and you replace all the panels with luxury levers and you turn it into some walking bloody i don't know um leather museum exposition thing they, they all look terrible right for the most part they all look completely terrible but they're probably an upgrade from the whole custom uh design sort of like painting airbrushing sort of trend that happened right and for some reason they're still in trend now i don't know why i think it's naff i think it's corny i think these people need to go and actually design out their own silhouettes instead of just latching onto off the of, you know the hard work and the legacy of other storied brands go out and design something if you're that much of a designer if you think you're that influential if you think your stuff is that cool why don't you make your own shoe they never do that they just take the work that's already been done and just slap their own logo on it lazy boring shit and i saw i've seen this logo right this sort of like um ski mask halloween sort of shit he's got on the side of the swooshes so what he basically was saying in his captions right uh, regarding the shoe itself was that somehow he was picking up these shoes or making them from the ground up that's what he was basically saying right and i think i've got a bit of the same here da, da, da. but he was basically saying something along the lines of like oh i'm making these shoes from the ground up with an italian factory like i'm basically taking a pigeon dunk deconstructing it and making it myself which is completely bull be bullshit especially in the era where there's fake shoes from china and other um replica shoemakers out there making some high level shit that's falling places like StockX, go um you know whatever other place you're selling at to suggest that or to kind of give the impression or sell this story that you're somehow creating a shoe from the bottom up is ludicrous we all know what the game is the game is a game he was buying shoes from china and essentially putting his own logo on the side of it that was the extent of his hard work and that's essentially what ended up biting him in the ass so whatever he was trying to proposition he was trying to put forward that he was this kind of um you know um forward thinking um subversive sort of like the sneaker version of fucking banksy whatever he's got in his head has essentially come and bit him in the ass all right right for doing this because he decided that hey i'm gonna take this i'm gonna take this silhouette i'm gonna take these iconic colorways of you know ironically they're all the iconic sbs as well it's not even like he's taking some uh, you know uh unknown colorway some shoe that didn't sell too well and then trying to re-elevate it and sort of like recontextualizing it that way telling a different story that'll be a far more interesting take a far more interesting sell it's just taking the beta shoe right this what next the paris dunk the london dunk yeah we know they go for a lot of money this isn't you're not saying anything interesting and then he's slapping his logo on it and then nike said enough of that the article says the following as you can see by looking at the picture of the original dunk above and the one loads variation below they look almost identical because they are they're just they're just fakes that he's put this logo on you know that's basically it um, and it continues said as a direct proximate result of the warren lotus wrongful acts nike has um suffered continues to suffer and always likely to suffer damage of its trademark business reputation and goodwill um unless the restrained warren lotus will continue to use uh the swoosh design mark or confusingly similar marks and will cause irreparable damage to nike for which nike has no adequate remedy at law as daily news points out nike is asking los angeles federal judge to order Warren Lotus to stop manufacturing and selling the fake dunks the brand will, is also seeking damages which is the big one it's not just a cease and desist because I got one of those before from Nike for doing some other stuff which I won't mention but he's not even getting that he's also being flipping they're seeking damages so they're going to take him to the cleaners right especially again this guy probably made what 
not that much money off of them. He probably didn't even send them out on time, right? He doesn't have that many original ideas anyway, so this is definitely going to kill him. The band is also seeking damages and any of the profits earned from as a result of Warren Lotus' acts um, in violation of the Nike's rights. Furthermore, it is worthy of note that whether directly involved with Warren Lotus shoe or not, Nike has left Jeff Staple, who holds a registered trademark for the pigeon graphic, out of the lawsuit, which is very interesting because I think, according to Fashion Demics, which is the page that I follow the most for all this kind of news, so definitely check them out. They're basically alleging that Nike unfollowed Jeff Staple on Instagram, which is sweet, sweet justice for such an absolute weapon. Right? There's no more. There's no more less talented um um stale uh lacking in innovation or inspiration guy or just lucky to be there right he's the quintessential lucky to be there he happened to be around streetwear he happened to be around the proximity of the scene as it was burgeoning with his crappy store and his crappy brand he happened to be the only one that had a connection with certain people within nike ecosystem he connected a couple of people and he's just been riding the success of this one shoe his entire career in streetwear he's done nothing cool nothing of note since that shoe dropped and if anything he's been regurgitating the same tie design you're telling me like you know, you're being too harsh you're being too harsh let's go back onto the original article and we'll scroll down look at this story from six months ago right where's the story from seven months ago there's a story here it says jeff staple turns his iconic pigeon dunk into a luxe marble sculpture in 2020 he's turning a pigeon dunk that came out when in 2000 and, uh, when did this pigeon dunk originally come out 2000 and something i don't know whatever the original year was he's still riding off the back of that right more than 10 years ago shoe he's now turning into some sort of luxury what marble what thing that you put on top of your flipping uh desk of your desk or something like what is that who needs this bullshit absolutely gunk so it it is sweet justice that somebody lacking in such innovation who was you know essentially only regurgitating the nike pigeon dunk design just so he could make sure he's on the seating list of shoes has been essentially booted off and told to get out of here because he decided to what link up with warren lotus to again guess what breathe new life into an old design shoe that he made so again i've got those i've got I, i've got no what you got sympathy for him being let go in that regard you know there's probably high time they have a bit of fresh blood and like anyway doing that role whatever he was doing because he's stale as fuck it continues here so jeff staples designed pigeon dunk uh one of the most covered nike sneakers of release an original pair recently sold at auction for a whopping twenty five thousand. of course some money needs to be made from that but bloody hell man what absolute numb nuts in it all of them involved Warren Lotus for trying to um, su succeed off the back of, you know, a pretty um, well-known bait dunk, um, which essentially highlighted, again, exposed where he gets his shoes because there's no other place you can get this apart from the rep markets, especially brand new. Most of the, especially in this condition, especially with the amount of sizes that are available now, he's potentially fucked up the entire resale uh, market for this shoe. Because if you're smart, you're going to buy a really good rep of these, store them or stack them underneath your wardrobe somewhere for a couple of years. There's not many shoes, pigeon dunks to reference from out there in the market anyway. I'm pretty sure some will slip through the net and, you know, some um, unlucky saw out there is going to be, um, you know, wanking over a pair of pigeon dunks that they have no idea have just come from some factory somewhere in china they've made in someone's back garden in under 30 minutes and ugh, again man just it goes to showing it is the, the lack of originality from the fashion brands in terms of the sneakers that they always copy and not don't design their own silhouettes and also the kids involved in streetwear and sneakers themselves who just work off the back of the baitest models don't try and make their own shoes they don't all pull in their resources and make them because again making your own shoes is probably the most expensive thing to do in fashion hands down right it's the most expensive right making shoes is hands down the most expensive but it also if you're about this life and you're really about this creativity life and you think you could do a far better job than some of these designers at nike that's what you should be actually doing specking up and designing your own shoes maybe sending those samples and those illustrations and those actual concepts and those ideas off to some of the big brands again to hire you instead of just deconstructing shoes supposedly right adding python lever to it and calling that a fucking collaboration it's not it's not and again it's not me defending nike at all because i'm you know fuck nike to the day that i die but still this is garbage bro who's buying this nonsense in it like what is that like literally what is that but again um that's what that, that's what you get from having like, original ideas isn't it you get sued you get cease this is and you get sued
for damages. Let's see how that plays out in the next few weeks. Anyway.